Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back to our channel. We are building a cat tree if you are not binging our, our current playlist. And answering questions. So what is your next twin flame question, Danny? Yes, yeah, so the question is, if your twin flame is your quote unquote better half, does that mean you're only 50% awesome on your own? So, you and your twin flame, like, are equals. You don't have to put them on a pedestal. And... Is there such thing as better half with twin flames? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's, like, uh... It's kind of what I mean by saying, like, you're equals. Like, there's no more awakened twin flame or more mastered twin flame or better twin flame you're truly equals in every sense even if it doesn't look like it on the outside and so i feel like that's really one energy that will kind of repel or be repulsive to your twin flame is if you think that they're cooler or better than you and you put them in a pedestal right. Right, like you would think that like they would get like an ego boost or something from it, but the no. whole basis of your relationship is not based on ego at all. It's based on self-love, and yeah. so they're going to mirror that energy back to you by uh, maybe like not engaging with you or coming off as being better than you because they're just mirroring that energy back to you. And so, yeah, like, it's just about embracing that you and your twin flame are equals. And what you like in your twin flame is in you, too. And he's not separate. He or she is not separate from you. Yeah. And you're also not a half. You're whole and complete onto yourself. And your twin flame is also complete and whole onto themselves. And this is really important because this is another energy that can kind of keep you in twin flame separation. Is this energy of I need my twin flame or I'm not complete without my twin flame and this is another like aspect that's like very toxic and kind of why the twin flame community gets a lot of hate is because of this of um, this like kind of like toxic approach of you feeling like you need that person but you don't and that's not at all what the twin flame journey is about the twin flame journey is about claiming the divine as your source and loving yourself yeah and recognizing your, your own wholeness yeah recognizing your own wholeness and knowing that you're not with your twin flame because you need them but because you choose to be with them yeah. you don't need anybody and you don't attract your twin flame by feeling not whole without them you yeah. actually attract your twin flame by recognizing your wholeness that is mm -hmm. actually how you manifest your union is yeah, by it's by truly feeling, recognizing your your wholeness. Yeah, like yourself. feeling content with your life and with yourself. Yep. That's how you track your twin flame, not not by chasing them where there's like there's all this like fake information that <laughs> you you chase your twin flame and you pursue them, but it's just about being with yourself. So mm -hmm. And when you're when when you're with yourself, your twin flame is gonna mirror that to you by being with you. So Yep. Yup. So is there anything else that you would like to say? No, this? that is all. Okay. Thanks Bye. for watching. We'll see you in the next question. Right. Bye. Bye.